Hi, I'm Dada and today I've got some amazing news for you that are about to do a performance upgrade or a motor inverter swap or for you that are building a custom like EV conversion using Nissan Leaf bits. So stick around. So remember a while back when I did the first inverter upgrade? Go back and watch that video if you haven't. In short, the motor and inverter are married together with a resolver offset that previously could only be changed with official Nissan tools. I reverse engineered it, but it was still a bit of a hurdle to need custom CAN sending equipment and a laptop uh, to change the motor and inverter. Today this has been simplified and included in LeafSpy Pro. That's right, Jim has added these commands that we figured out a few months ago into LeafSpy making it so that you can use your phone when swapping out leaf bits now. Let's try it out. Okay, so here's how to use this feature. First, we're gonna put the car in ACC mode. So I'm not pressing the brake, I'm just double tapping this button. So that turns the car on into uh, ACC mode. And uh, then we are going to connect. Let me just put this uh, camera down and let's uh, zoom in a bit on this phone so you can uh, better see what is going on. Uh, so we're connected to the car and if I go into settings and scroll down and press uh, service screen and scroll down even more quite a bit to a place called um, options. There's this button here called special functions. I will tap that and then I can go back. So now here's the service menu uh, and there's a new option here called special functions. I'm going to press that and uh, there's going to be a prompt to change uh, motor inverter settings. Uh, so the inverter that I'm using at the moment is a 160 kilowatt, the newer ZD1. It only uses uh, one number here at the beginning uh, for the resolver offset. But uh, the motor I'm actually running has 86 as the resolver value. So now I have entered the access code, which is uh, Resolve, I did this uh, previously. And that gives me the option to actually change this number. So I'm just going to type uh, 86, enter that. Then I press uh, Enable, and finally I press Change. So that's working, and now it has been changed. So to verify this, uh, I shut off the card. I Turn off the OBD2 dongle and um, I'm just gonna open and close the door and put it back. And this just speeds off the process of uh, the car shutting down. But I think enough time has passed now, so I'm gonna turn on the car again. And let's wait until it has connected. It has connected. So now if I go back into the special functions, and have it read. The resolver is set to 86. Nice! So, that's how you change the resolver value after doing an inverter swap. Very easy. So I hope that you watching this will be inspired to maybe increase your Leaf's performance now that the resolver coding is so easily accessible. And uh, by the way, this same procedure can be done with inverters in standalone mode. If you like this type of content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel or check out my Patreon page. I'm now gonna be extracting some more power from my leaf with these 18 inch lightweight wheels. Bye for now.